Yep, uh, went out again out here at uh, Pine Island. Um, started out, you know, cloud, uh, sun was behind the clouds, wasn't getting a lot of, you know, big bright light. Um, and this first portion here, um, I sped it up for time reason. I mean, anyhow, this is going to be a long video. So, you know, those of you that don't uh, uh, appreciate good observational science uh, can move on. Other people that want to see what this is really about, um, they can stay with me here. But you can obviously see these these islands out there. You can see the rock surface that's on them. Um, tide's a little bit low. Um, and there's two channels we're looking across here. This is the Hernando Beach channel, and then the Bayport channel will be closer right here. The channel markers are the farther ones away. The shorter ones are going to be the Hernando Beach channel. Um, these islands are approximately 4.8 miles away. And again, you can still see the rock edges of these islands. Um, and I'm going to get to the last uh, island before uh, there's no more islands. There's some little rock shelves out there, which um, you'll, you can see sometimes. <laughs> Even at uh, a lower uh, height, camera height than what I'm at now. All depending on that visibility. Um, is there more visibility when refraction is high or is there less visibility when refraction is high? Obviously, um, refraction affects your visibility. In other words, less refraction, the farther your visibility. And that's basically how they um, devise it for, um, like, visibility reports. They'll say, hey, visibility is so many miles. And if you have poor visibility, say you got a three-mile visibility, you're not going to be able to see very far, of course. <laughs> Now, I'm back to regular speed here, and we're going to get to these couple of boats right here. Now, I did take a, a screenshot of one of these, a um, couple screenshots that I'm going to use as a comparison. And I'm going to let you determine <laughs> what you think is happening. I mean, right now, I got really good visibility up to at least uh, four probably five miles, maybe even six. Uh, I think these next boats uh, that I do come across will uh, basically uh, show that maybe they're further away than even these boats. <laughs> they are coming in on a different angle, so you're seeing the boat on, a, on an incoming angle, um, probably to the Hernando Beach Channel. Uh, right there, I sped it up because I took a, a break and um, was just relaxing. And again, like I said, I took several pictures of this boat. Trying to get the best one when I was in focus. Now focus on the size of the people in these boats. That's one of the things that uh, you know I want you to pay attention to because at the end of this video I'm gonna um, show some comparisons because it, this really gives you a good idea how refraction um, <laughs> actually kills your visibility. And there's always refraction going on. It's just at different distances. And that's why it affects your visibility. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. And I don't know why we've been uh, led to believe that refraction is actually pulling things up. Obviously, it, it does not. Because during visibility, I would be able to see these boats. Which I've got video of boats probably uh, just as far out as this, if not farther, where you see the people in the boat. And it's very clear. Um, and the water is a little calmer, too. That that I'll give it. Today was a, 
uh, fairly, I mean, there was some wind, but it wasn't really bad, but it could have been worse offshore. Um, and, and again, your wind does uh, affect the level of water. I mean, when you got heavy winds, of course, it's going to affect it. Um, but look at the size of these boats. Now, thinking about the people that are in it, I mean, you, you probably can't even see them because of the, the light uh, diffracting around them and just kind of blurring them out in the white area. You see that white strip going across? That's a distortion line. Look at that dolphin, too. Comparing that dolphin to them boats also is awesome. <laughs> pretty awesome. Um, and, you know, if you've made it this far, uh, really, you're going to like what's coming up because it's, it's pretty interesting how... Uh, this uh, all happens within minutes, and, you know, it's very uh, eye-opening to those that are really researching, um, you know, the shape of Earth, really. I mean, you know, we get a science, science says that a man standing six foot tall on the shore can see three miles to the horizon. Look at the dolphin again pop up. Um so how can I, which I know I'm not six feet up off the water, um, but I've been even closer to the water and got better visibility than what I'm seeing here. So really the visibility um, doesn't really affect your, your height if, if you got really killer visibility. I mean, at a point it will, but... Man, I've been, like I said, I've been, uh, well, my camera sits at, what, 28 inches. Now, to take a, take a look at uh, Hernando Beach Rack, okay? I mean, I, I don't even care about the distance. I know that's over, uh, that's eight miles, eight miles away, eight point something miles away. And you can see it very clearly. But that's all of a sudden going to change here soon. And, and it's crazy. It's crazy how this works. I mean, you see the difference in the water? Look at the water level. I mean, look at the edges of the water. Look how that water changed from where I was before. And I'll go back. I'll go back. And I passed that real quick. Hernando Beach. Rack. And here's those two boats again. Um, and... You can still, you can still, you can see that the water is slightly changing a bit here, but you can obviously see these boats are getting closer because you are seeing a little bit more of them. But again, they're coming more on an angle uh, toward the uh, Hernando Beach Channel marker, most likely. And one might be towing the other, I, I'm not sure. Because later on, I try to go back again. But watch how this water changes again. Watch, watch it. Watch it. Look at, look at Hernando Beach Rack. What happened to it? Huh. What happened to Hernando Beach Rack? For the, for the globalists or the globe lovers um, and their excuse of refraction. It's always refraction pulling it up from behind the curve. No, no, no. You flipping the script on us, folks. It's refractions working the opposite as they um, claim it is. I mean, you go out and do these observations over years and you see all of these different optical effects and you know that, I, I mean, it's pretty obvious when you get a good, good day of visibility, how you can see boats <laughs> so far out there you would not even think that you would see them. Um, all right, here you go again. Now, look at the size of these people in this boat. So, this boat cannot be as far away, correct? And look at their boat compared to when I was closer to uh, or moving further south in my view. I mean, you can see the sun popped out. <clears throat> see that big cloud? It was lingering behind it. And here you go again. 
Yeah, I'm a little out of focus. Get in focus a little bit there. All right. And now I'm going to wing back over to toward the south and just show you this complete change. I mean, this completely changes. And it's it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy how they can say this or do this or make these claims. Now, I was trying to find those boats again, and uh, <laughs> too young. Here's a bigger boat, but you can obviously see it's in, in like a mirror zone. So when this mirroring effect occurs, it really gives the, the boat the appearance of being cut off, which it is not cut off. See, imagine how what it would make a boat look like that's even further away. I mean, it, and I got plenty of video of that. But look at how look at this water change. Just the edge of the water changing, uh, and I should have put that. Maybe I'll text it into the video at the beginning to pay attention to the the actual. Uh, edge of the water how it changes and then <laughs> two two young guys walked up and stood right in my front of my camera at the seawall I was like wow wow but oh well it's a public beach now look at this boat <laughs> refraction refraction folks this is what it's about going out and doing uh, real science with observations um, because science a big part of science is observability and when you can observe it over and over again with uh, video proof and people still deny it it's crazy how, how can you deny that this does not affect your visibility and by this right here you know this is why things seem to disappear over curves it, there's no curve people it's just the angles here's uh the Hernando Beach rack again what happened to it what happened to it come on globies you can't tell me that refraction isn't causing this and it, and it really causes it <laughs> with the Sun and uh, I did the Sun too which I'll try to maybe do another video on the Sun if people are interested in that it'd be just a little short clip all right well here's that uh, one boat again and I'm gonna put some uh, comparisons in Yep, the big illusion and the big joke on the majority of the people thinking that they live on some kind of a spinning water ball, uh, flying through space, chasing the Milky Way, I mean, flying through the Milky Way galaxy, chasing the sun. <laughs> uh, I mean, just and just doing this comparison of these, the uh, condition of the water, uh, the size of the people that should be in these boats. Uh, and the people that you do see in, in the boats um, and compared to this one right here it's just obviously what's going on with the refraction it hides it gives the illusion of this curvature here's that uh, Hernando Beach rack bam and this is like within minutes of uh, you know seeing these it, it's like crazy it's like crazy how fast refraction can actually cause things to disappear which, again, causes a solution of curvature. Have a good night, folks. I'm sorry, I actually wanted to make a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, the Hernando Beach rack and of the boats with people in them. And of the boats. Give you a better idea of what refraction actually does. All right, people, just, you know, always remember that, you know, they've, uh, they've educated us with a bunch of false stuff.